All right, guys, Cuddleboy32 here checking out. So our accurization or accurizing has set up overnight, and basically this is what we end up with. We've got a barrel, two barrels, and we are ready to apply our gas blocks. So anyway, what is the big difference here? Well, I'll tell you right now. The budget rifle is going to receive a simple gas block and one of the better gas blocks that I absolutely love in the industry I've been working with Yankee Hill machine for quite a long time these guys they their gas blocks are made of steel you don't ever have to worry about them breaking open uh, tearing apart or anything else and then you've got a just it's absolutely awesome one of the other things that I do like about it is that let's see did this guy coming in it no it didn't uh, they do provide for let's see here what are you? Mm, a little bit smaller. They do have the Allen wrench screws, and it's in a perfect alignment with the gas hole in here. So what what do I do with that? It's pretty simple. What I'm doing is I'm trying to make sure that I have the distance that I need, especially from the thickened area here on the back or the shoulder so let's go ahead and put this thing on let's make sure that that other screw is not going to be in there and what I'm doing is I'm going to make sure that the spacing for the center of that hole is basically yeah so on this specific rifle it the gas block needs to be butt all the way to that shoulder some of the rifles the hole is drilled so that you have to be a little bit spaced off of there but on this one, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put it all the way up against that shoulder. Now, on the full-blown competition rifle, I decided to go ahead with an adjustable gas block. Now, this one from Odin Works kind of fit the bill. There's a lot of different uh, gas blocks, adjustable gas blocks out there. I uh, like superlative, but as my budgeted did, 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 did warranted, uh, we are going to go with this guy right here and say you've got yourself a really nice long Allen wrench for adjustments and then we have two more Allen wrenches I'm not sure why I'm not much for reading uh, let's see we've got uh, includes cross pin set screws hex wrenches okay made from carbon steel nitride finish 20 adjustments in Connell adjustment screw and spring so what we have here, on an, on an adjustable gas block, what you're given the availability to do is you can fine tune your cycling. So you can, that's nice, you've got good clicks in there. And you might not be able to hear that because I do have the air conditioning running. And again, what I'm going to do is basically the same thing because one of these gas, this should be lined up with that gas port on the inside. Oh, there we go. And it is. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll put it on the barrel just like that and what I'm doing is I'm going to see if it shoulders perfect. Okay, so we're going to butt it all the way to the shoulder. That's nice to know and that should give us the alignment for the gas port in this direction. We'll still have to plumb it up on the other direction. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead I'm going to put these back on and I always put like blue Loctite, I know there's some guys that put the heat stuff on there, I'm not really big on that, uh, simply because I do take these on and off on basically an hourly basis. Now i got to find that screw, there it is. So we'll go ahead and put these back in here. I'm going to go ahead and install the gas tubing, the gas tube on here, and then what we can do is put them into place. Now if you ask me why I like to have the adjustable gas block. It's a personal preference. Do you have to have it? No, you don't have to have it. Uh, but what it does is it gives you the availability to reduce recoil, especially when you're working with a low mass uh, bolt carrier group or a specialized type of buffer or spring. And the whole idea is to reduce that reciprocation back and forth. Are we worried about that on this? No, because this is a $19 gas block. This is a $59 gas block. You go up to Superlative or JP and you're talking $100 for these things. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, ooh, I do like the way Odin put that little line on there. That's pretty cool. See that line that they put on there? Yeah, Yankee Hill's not exactly doing that with the, for me, but uh, anyway, no big deal. So what we're going to do is go ahead and mount these uh, gas tubes on here. Now, here's the thing. 
the proof research barrel came with an intermediate. We talked about that earlier, as where as a the uh, what do you call that? Bear Creek came with a, a medium gas system, and that's about the difference. It's about a two inch difference in the length of gas tube. What does that do? It basically gives you a little bit more uh, a softer recoil. The only thing you got to be concerned about, and that's one of the reasons why we go with this guy, let's talk about dwell time here real quickly. So your rifle is collecting gas from right about this point on out is where this mid-length system has this much time to collect. You're probably going to have a little bit more, let's just say, dependable cycling with this guy than you are with this, but that's one, one of the other reasons why we go with a adjustable gas board. Let's go ahead and put these things on here. Stand by. Cool thing is, is that uh, at least the Odin Works came with a uh, a gas block roll pin, and then this guy right here. This was actually sent to us, this tube from the guys over there at Optics Planet, and it came with a roll pin as well. Thank goodness, otherwise we'd have been out of luck on these things. But one of the ways I do this is I just put this in a vice block so it's sturdy. I take a set of uh, what do you call those? The needle nose pliers. I hold it, and then I just. And as simple as that. Here we go. Stand by. All right, guys. Well, there you go, man. We've got this thing assembled. We've got the uh, gas tube on there. We're going to go ahead and mount these bad boys. And then we're going to put the hand guards on. Again, I'd like to give a big thanks to uh, Optics Planet. They provided all the parts and pieces pretty much with the exception of the barrel and that upper receiver for this, uh, what do you call it, Econ competition rifle. But again, uh, that Gun Tech hand guard, it's going to go well. But then we got the Mac Daddy, the Midwest Industries. Look at that thing. Isn't it gorgeous? Let's go ahead and put these things on because I'm ready to get these things out onto the range so we can do some firing. The next thing we're going to talk about are muzzle brakes. And that's where it's going to get interesting. That's my pet peeve, muzzle brakes. Here we go. So with that being said, guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom's not free. So there you go, man. We've got economical right here and the full-blown Monty right here. And as a matter of fact, I think I might just call this uh, Monty. That's, that's, that's going to be the nickname of that rifle. I don't know what we're going to call this guy right here yet. We'll see. You guys have a great day. Oh, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, and uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom's not free. Adjustable gas block. Just a straight-up standard gas block. Econ against the full Monty. Next up, muzzle brakes. Ha <laughs> ha.